Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. SCA rolls out welcome mat for caravan of illegals. Texas has surprise waiting. As a caravan of more than 1,000 migrants make its way across Mexico with the hopes of entering the United States, how and where those migrants enter the country remains unknown. It is assumed officials in California will welcome them should they attempt to enter the country there, but Texas Governor Greg Abbott has other plans should they hope to enter via his state. In a tweet posted Sunday, Abbott sent out a reminder that it's not just U.S. Customs and Border Patrol agents manning the entry points to Texas. He's also deployed National Guard troops. Abbott said. The caravan, first reported by BuzzFeed News, reportedly consists of up to 1,200 migrants, many of which are from Honduras. Organized by a group of volunteers called Pueblos Sin Fronteras, or People Without Borders, the caravan is intended to help migrants safely reach the United States, bypassing not only authorities who would seek to deport them, but gangs and cartels who are known to assault vulnerable migrants, wrote BuzzFeed reporter Adolfo Flores who is traveling with the caravan. Organizers, hope that the sheer size of the crowd will give immigration authorities and criminals pause before trying to stop them, he added. Flores said over the weekend the caravan was in the Mexican town of Santiago Niltepec, roughly 900 miles from Brownsville, Texas, the closest point on the U.S. border. Monday on Fox & Friends, former Secret Service agent and Maryland congressional candidate Dan Bongino described the caravan as complete, total, utter chaos. There is a consequence for us, Americans who have to finance this chaos, Bongino said. You can't have a country without borders. It's just a landmass without the borders. Reports of the caravan prompted President Donald Trump to issue a series of tweets over the past two days blasting Mexico for not stopping the flow of migrants into its country, and criticizing Democrats for not taking the issue of border security more seriously. According to statistics from Customs and Border Patrol, the number of apprehensions of people attempting to enter the country illegally was more than 58,000 in President Barack Obama's last full month in office. In the first full month of the Trump administration, the number dropped to a little more than 23,500. By April of last year, the number had dropped to fewer than 16,000. But the number of apprehended illegal border crossers increased in the second half of last year and peaked at more than 40,000 in December. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.